Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear friends. My name is Muhammad Noman. How are you, my friends? I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Advanced English Grammar. Today we are about to talk about two important words. These are ago and before. We will talk about these two words in the detail. But before starting the class, I would like to tell you our YouTube channel. My YouTube channel name is Learn English Grammar with Noman. Do subscribe our YouTube channel, share these videos to your friends, colleagues and relatives through WhatsApp, Messenger and Facebook. That would be very kind of you. Along with advanced English grammar, we have started these types of classes. The reason here is that in these words, most of the students, they are getting the confusion. How to use these words correctly? So before, along with Advanced English Grammar, inshallah, we will also talk about these kinds of words to clear your concept about these words. Okay, so let's talk about these two important words, ago and before. In simple words, I would like to tell you about these two words, ago we use with a specific, with a particular time. Whenever we are talking about any particular time, specific time, we want to indicate the time when the action has done or when the action has taken the place. Whenever we are talking about that, we have to use there ago with a specific time. But when we are uncertain, when we are unknown about the action, we have to use there the word before. For example, here are some examples. The first example here is that my father retired two years ago. I started counting from the present. Look at here. And I'm going backwards. I'm going to the past. My father retired two years ago. Now look at here, I used here the word ago. Why? Because we are talking about a particular time. We have to use there the word ago. Ago we use mostly in the past tense. The, here, the reason here is that the past tense we use the past tense, the past simple tense we use for a particular time. When the action is done in a particular period of time, then we have to use there the word ago, right? Another example here is that I visited the one year, sorry, someone has removed it these things, these words. I visited the one year ago. Again, no look at here. And Alhamdulillah, I visit um, several times over there, Deer, uh, Swat, Kalam, Shangla, uh, to the northern areas. And uh, I'm also a tourist, uh, a visitor. I go mostly over there uh, in the vacations. I spend uh, my those days were there okay and uh, i like i like those places a lot i visited there one year ago again we are talking about a particular a specific time we have to use there the word ago you cannot write over here i visited there one year before not at all you cannot say this here Okay, the reason here is that, as I told before, ago we use with a particular time, with a, with a specific time, and 
before we use with unknown with unspecific time right the third example i opened the school one year ago i haven't opened right now but inshallah in the, the in the future i would like to do it so the reason here is that this is my uh, we could say uh, we could say mm, my aim to open the school for the children and to get uh, to uh, to give education uh, to get mm, the, to educate the people there uh, this is my um, the aim of life inshallah i will do that Okay, this portion is clear. Now we have to talk about this version before before we use with unspecific time, with unparticular time, when the action is unknown to us, we use there the word ag before. For example, I have met Ali before. Again, this word I have met Ali before the time is unknown, maybe two years ago. Three years ago, five years ago, six years ago, we don't know it the exact time. That's why we have to use there the word before. Okay? We don't know exactly the time of an action. That is why we have to use there the word before. I have met Ali before. No, look at here. One thing you have to keep in your mind. This is the past, uh, the present perfect tense. And the present perfect tense is used with that action when we don't know exactly the time of action uh, with the unspecific time, on particular uh, um, for time, we have to use there before. The present perfect tense is used with unspecific time, okay, when the action is unknown to us. We use there the word before, right? The second example here is that you have you visited the new station before? I'm asking you the question here. Have you visited the new station before? If you are sure, you can say the exact time. You can tell me that time. But if you are not sure, so you will say, ah, yes, I have visited. I have visited. If you are sure, then you can use ago. But if you are not sure about your action, then we have to use before, right? Have you visited the new station before? Uh, yes, I have visited. Have you visited? Hmm. <laughs> you may have not sure about your action, so you can use there before. He has taught. No, look at here. He has taught English mm, before. Again, this word came here before because, and alhamdulillah, I have taught English in many places. In many places, in many schools, colleges, I have taught English, but I don't know the exact time. That is why I'm telling you here, be far. I'm using, I'm keeping this word again before, right? I have recorded the videos before. This is not my first time. I'm not recording here right now. I have recorded many videos in many places before. Yes, I cannot say ago because I don't know the exact time when someone knows the exact time then he has to use ago so it was our today class about these two words ago and before and you might have gotten these points do subscribe our youtube channel the name of our youtube channel is learn english grammar with noman share these videos to your friends relatives colleagues through whatsapp messenger and facebook we are also about to start english grammar in Pashto language. Many students, they have requested. Inshallah, we will do that. So, thanks a lot of you. Thanks, Emerald.